What I all of this has resulted in this exhibition, which shows people attempting to hold on to nature, while posters point out a number of political and corporate crimes. It is now time for us all to take responsibility for our environment. Thank you. My neighbor's growing GM corn, and now my corn is contaminated. It happens every day between 9 and 11 a.m. The GM pollen rains down on my fields, carries for 50 feet. That GMO cuisine lit up my staple gizzard like a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Let this be a day like no other, a testament to forever, a day in the making like bread or wine that feeds us and peaks us on. I went fishing. They said, you can't eat the fish. Bloody hell. <laughs> Let me smile. Get back my laugh and cheerful face. Before you flash and nap the iris, give back my sight. All those things I saw. Now, dear Bert, this is, this is profound. <laughs> this playing with nature human nature and, and this stuff this this is the poetry that I really uh, value and appreciate and how do we just keep from curling up in a ball and giving up. So I think what we have to do is, I think we have to start from inside. Thank you. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Time in the words of Winston Churchill, fancy cutting down all those beautiful trees just to make pulp for those bloody newspapers and calling it civilization. And the violent light filled my head a waking dream that cracked the ceiling of God. Inside, a man dismounted, a child awoke. I look to you, to your shadow instead. So, there's a raw milk petition, you know, uh, it's illegal for me to give you any milk, so the milk that you're getting in here is <laughs> commercial. <laughs> Goats, and I uh, raised them for meat and milk, and made cheese and sold the milk. On your scooter all the way around, but you probably won't fit it up there, so we'll have to make you a, tra a plate. It would make more sense. <laughs>